Hey guys, it's Mrs. Zara, your co-video substitute teacher. Today we're going to do some science. So, I don't know how well you can see this. I have a pen, stabby, pokey pen. Do not go get one of these. If your mom has one of these, super cool. You can ask her to help. Don't go do this. Do not get one of these without asking. But I have one. I also went to the Dollar Tree where I bought these, which of course blow up into these balloons. Now, if I take my pokey pen and I poke it into this, what will happen? Now, several of you out there are going, oh my gosh, how dumb is Mrs. R that she doesn't know what's going to happen here? <laughs> oh my gosh, she doesn't even know what's going to pop. Oh, wait, it's going to pop? Oh, did you have an idea what's going to happen? We have a word for that. Yes, we do. Hypothesis. Hypothesis is a big word we use in science that means guess. Now, in science, the word theory doesn't mean guess. Theory actually means something completely different, and we'll get into that some much more advanced middle school kind of time. But for all science, before you do any experiment, you make a guess, and it's called hypothesis. But I'm going to guess it will pop. Did you, did you guess pop? Okay, now we have to do the experiment. We've made our guess. You list your supplies. I have a balloon. I have a pen. We are going to take the pen. We're going to poke it into the balloon. Our hypothesis is it will pop. Let's see if we're right. Oh, I hate this part. I just touched it and stab it. <laughs> okay. Experiment completed. Hypothesis, correct. It popped. Now, right now, you're thinking, um, this isn't science. I learned that like as a little kid. How could you not already know that? Okay, I, I did know that. That's why I already wrote it down as my guess. <laughs> I already knew that was going to be my guess. Let me ask you something else, though. Anybody this is just tape, right? I'm going to take some tape because I have another balloon I've already blown up. I'm just going to put some tape on it. Now I'm going to take another piece of tape and I'm going to make an X of tape. It's scotch tape, so it's really hard to see. But I'm making it an X of tape right there on my balloon. I'm going to poke the pin into the middle of that X where the tape is. Now, I need to ask you, what's going to happen when I poke my pokey pin into the balloon? but on the X this time, of tape. Write out your hypothesis. My hypothesis is it's still going to pop. You can't put a pin in a balloon and not have it pop. That's utterly crazy. So we're going to try it. There's my balloon. There's the tape. So, all right, here it goes, guys. Here's the pop. Uh, we said, and yet what we got was, I have a pin completely in that balloon. It's not popping. You know what? That's a little weird. Let's just set that aside for a second and let's talk about why balloons pop. And then we'll figure out if we know why that one's not popping. And what's crazy is what if it pops over there next to me and it scares me to death? Don't do that. Maybe it'll do it. I, I don't know. Well, here's why, actually. This is science. Science! All right, ready? Here's a balloon. This one's not blown up. <sighs> not blown it up. About the size of the other one. Now, the reason the other one popped is because we put a hole in it, right? And all the air rushed out. But I haven't tied this one off. So if I let it go, does it pop? Well, it deflated, but there was no bang, was there? So it's not holes in balloons that make them pop. 
yeah, there's a little something more to it. Here's why actual pops happen. When we have a balloon and we poke a hole into it, the air rushes out, same as it does when I just did this. The difference is it rushes out really fast to a really tiny hole. Because here's the thing, right now, there's all kinds of stretchiness to this, right? Look, ah. but now when I blow it up, well, no, it's got air pressure inside. And the only thing that air wants to do right now is push on the outside of the balloon. Because it pushes on the outside of the balloon, that's why we get a really cool balloon. It gets big, well, I hope it gets bigger. Yeah, but inside this balloon right now, all that air is pushing against all the sides. It wants out, <laughs> but I'm not letting it out. When I put a pin in it, it comes out, but it tries to all come out at once through a hole that's only a little pin big. And when it does that, it actually rips the balloon. When it rips, pop! and it rips the balloon. We actually hear it ripping. It sounds like a pop instead of a because it's ripping so fast. Pow is what we hear. Not, doesn't, doesn't do that. It goes pop because it rips a hole. But this balloon here with our little X on it, it can't rip a hole. Now you're saying, well, you've also got that pin in there. It's holding the hole, right? It's plugging it up. Okay, so if I pull the pin out, will it pop or will it slowly deflate? That's a lot of air pressure in there. It wants out pretty bad. I'm going to say it will pop. Let's see. Here we go. I'm pulling it out. I was wrong again. My hypothesis, it will pop. My guess is wrong. Now, is there air coming out? I can't see it blowing my hair, but I can feel it on my face. It's blowing out. In a little bit, this balloon will be deflated, but it's coming out a very, very tiny hole there where I pulled the pin. So it can deflate, but it can't pop because I'm not letting it rip. The tape on here doesn't let big rips happen. And it certainly doesn't let big rips happen suddenly. So it's still getting smaller, guys. It's getting smaller. It's blowing that air out. No, you still can't see it. But eventually this will deflate. But because of the tape, it doesn't pop. Now here's a question. What if we take the same balloon though? Maybe this balloon is magical. We gotta know. In science, when we do an experiment, we make a guess, but we also have to change the variable, right? What if this balloon is somehow a magical non-popping balloon? We have to know. So the variable I will change is that now I will try it without the tape, but on the same balloon, so that I know whether or not this balloon, it, that balloon was not magical. That balloon popped. There you go. Why does a balloon pop? It doesn't pop because you put a hole in it. It pops because it rips a bigger hole. We just, it happens so fast we can't see it happening. If you go on YouTube though, you can look up slow motion balloon pops. Type it in and you can see a balloon actually rip and explode in slow motion. It's pretty cool. That's our science for today. Why do balloons pop? Well, that's why they rip. Bye.